so real quick, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna just get straight to the point. Like, I think I lost one of my associates because of the life I live. She found out, well, I told her that I live out of my car and I think our relationship is like, it's done, you know? And my initial reaction was, I felt, I felt sad, I felt bad, I felt judged. Like, the stuff that she was saying to me, it, it, it really made me feel bad at first, but when I sat back and thought about it, I was like, there's no need for you to feel bad about the, you know, the lifestyle you choose to live, you know? And um, I'll tell you how it started. Um, when it was Saturday, yeah, Saturday, Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, I was in the park, just chilling, relaxing. And um, she called me and she said, um, she said, what you doing? I said, nothing, I'm just hanging in the park. And uh, she said, um, she said, you always in the park. I said, yeah, I love being in the park. I always been like this since I was like a little bitty boy, you know? I always loved being outdoors. So, now I can tell that she kind of had like some type of idea that I was living out of my car because she would always ask me like little questions like, what you gonna do today? Oh, you at, you at the park? Okay, well, what you gonna do next? You know, just little stuff. Like I can tell that she was kind of curious about, you know, what I had going on. And it almost seemed like she kind of knew I was living out of my car, but you know, she didn't say anything, but um, I told her, I said, um, I said, I have something I want to tell you. I said, you know why I'm always outside? She said, why? I said, because I live in my car. And she got quiet for like 20 seconds. She got quiet for like 20 seconds. And I got quiet too, because I was just waiting on, you know, her response. So when she finally responded, she said, she said, why? I said, because I want to. She said, so you choose to live in your car over living in an apartment or living in the house? I said, yeah, that's what I choose to do. She said, why? And I just started breaking it down to like my reasons why, you know? Kind of make me feel like I wish I wouldn't have went through all of that because I still came out feeling like she was judging me. But um, I told her, I said, um, so I told her, you know, so I said, um, I say, and it, it, it kind of made me think about this time when one of my ex's brother, you know, he was gay and he, he came out and man, you know, me and him were close and, you know, we would talk about all kind of stuff. And, you know, I would ask him like, you know, why did you come out? When did you come out and stuff like that? And when he explained it to me, for some reason, like that feeling came over me the other day when I was telling my associate. And I just was like, you know, like, like this is my peace. Like, this is who I am. Like, I don't feel comfortable being confined to a house and just paying bills and just going to work, like my whole life working 30, 40 years, just paying bills, paying bills, paying bills, not living my life. Like, going on vacation like once a year, having like, five days that you can take off and live in, 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 in peace and just be free and do what you want to do. I say, you know, I feel like th these are the type of things I want to do now. Like, I want to live my life now. I don't want to wait until I'm 60 years old to live the life that I want to live. I feel like, like now is the time for us to live our lives. And whatever that takes, that's what we should do, right? So she asked me, so she said, so what it is, so you, you can't pay your rent or something? Like you, don't, you, like, you don't make enough money to where you can pay your rent or something? She was like, like, what if you decided to date or have be in a relationship? Like, what are you going to bring a female at? You don't have nowhere to bring them. And I was like, you know, that's why I'm not looking for somebody to date right now. I'm not, I'm not in the market looking for a relationship. I'm just really 
on a spiritual journey trying to find myself. So she was like, um, that's stupid. Like, why why would a grown-ass man want to live out of his car and blase, blase, blah? And I'm like, like, why is that stupid? She was like, so you rather give up all the stuff that you got living in the house to go live in the car and be hot and when the winter time come, be cold. You know, she was like, how do you take a bath? And I was like, you know, I, I go to the gym. She was like, if you want to eat a hot meal, like you want to eat something, like what do you do? I'm like, I have family, I have friends. And I also have plans to, uh, you know, buy me this electric stove that I saw, get me a pot set and start cooking on my own. She was like, that's stupid. That You got to go through all of that. You, all of, you doing all that, you might as well just stay in the apartment. And I'm like, you don't understand what I'm saying. I don't think you under, trying to understand what I'm saying. You just jumping the gun. So, and then she came out and just said something. This is what she said. She said, well, you know, man, you can never try and date each other now because I'll never date a man that's living out his car. And I'm like, you know, that's fine because I wasn't really trying to date you in the first place. I really was just being friends with you. Like, we would hang out and stuff, but I never really had intentions. And I'm pretty sure that I was clear with my intentions on whatever it was I wanted with you. And I, I'm quite sure that I never let off the vibe that I wanted to be with you. And she was like, yeah, you right, but still, like... She like, I'm dating with a purpose, and I want this, and I want that, and I want pay bills, and I want a house, and I want cars, and I want this. And I was like, you know, that's not where I'm at, you know? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for somebody that's on that level, that's looking for those type of things, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, well, I'm glad you told me. You should have been told me. What took you so long to tell me? Like, that's stupid. She just kept saying it was stupid. Like, everything I was saying, it was just stupid. And I started feeling like, damn, maybe I am messing my life up, you know, taking this road, you know, living in my car. Maybe I am going to mess up a lot of relationships that I have when I tell people that I live in my car. And this is one of the reasons why I decided I wasn't going to tell nobody, you know, because I know I, know I was going to get a lot of push back from it you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people is gonna be like you tripping i don't know why you're doing this but um at the end of the conversation she uh she was like pretty much like like have a nice life you know what i'm saying she was like well i'm gonna have to go on and you know find me somebody that's on the same level as me because I can't do this living in the car thing, you know? Because she she have a kid also, and that's what she brought up. She was like, I got a kid. What the hell, I'm, I'm me and my kid come to your house. What we gonna come to your car? She was just making jokes, like, she was just, she was being real, real petty about the situation. But then I really thought about it, and I was like, you know what? <clears throat> you know, fuck it. You know, because I don't want to date anyway, you know? And and I told her, I said, you know, I think I think it's pretty messed up for you to come at me the way you're coming at me now that I done shared some sensitive information about my life with you, you know? Just because you don't agree with it, you shouldn't call it stupid, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know where you're going to be at in life, like, in the next two, three years. You know, your mind may change about a lot of stuff, too, you know? <clears throat> and so she said... I don't care what, what I may be going through in the next two or three years. I know damn well I ain't going to do no stupid shit like that. You know, I'm going to always make a way to take care of my child and make sure he got a roof over his head and stuff. But I'm, and I'm like, but everything is okay. Like, with, like, my kids are well taken care of. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not doing this because I have to. Like, I work. I'm, I'm still a functioning person in society. Like, I'm a taxpayer. Like, it's not like I'm a bum on the street. Like, I, I'm, I'm doing this because I choose to. Well, I don't care. I just know that's something I never do. You know, that's like the dumbest shit. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I respect your mind, you know what I'm saying? I think it's messed up that you coming at me the way you are, but it's all good, so. I was saying something at the end and she, she just hung up the phone.
Like, so I guess it's over with, you know what I'm saying? And this is what happens when you tell people you're living in your car. So when you do decide to do that, just make sure you're ready for that. But fuck it. This is my life. I'm choosing this life. Nobody else has to live it but me. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Y'all be cool. Till next time. <laughs> Holla. So real quick, I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm going to just get straight to the point. Like, I think I lost one of my associates because of the life I live. She found out, well, I told her that I live out of my car, and I think our relationship is, like, it's done, you know? And my initial reaction was I felt, I felt sad. I felt bad. I felt judged. Like, the stuff that she was saying to me, it, it, it really made me feel bad at first, but when I sat back and thought about it, I was like, there's no need for you to feel bad about the, you know, the lifestyle you choose to live, you know? And um, I'll tell you how it started. Um, when it was Saturday, yeah, Saturday, Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, I was in the park, just chilling, relaxing. And, um, she called me and she said, um, she said, what you doing? I said, nothing, I'm just hanging in the park. And uh, she said, um, she said, you always in the park. I said, yeah, I love being in the park. I always been like this since I was like a little bitty boy, you know? I always loved being outdoors. So kind of made me think about this time when one of my ex's brother, you know, he was gay and he, he came out and man, you know, me and him were close and, you know, we would talk about all kind of stuff and, you know, I would ask him like, you know, why did you come out? When did you come out and stuff like that? And when he explained it to me, for some reason, like that feeling came over me the other day when I was telling my associate. And I just was like, you know, like, like this is my peace. Like, this is who I am. Like, I don't feel comfortable being confined to a house and just paying bills and just going to work, like, my whole life working 30, 40 years, just paying bills, paying bills, paying bills, not living my life, like, going on vacation, like, once a year, having, like, five days that you can take off and living in, in, in peace and just be free and do what you want to do. I said, you know, I feel like th these are the type of things I want to do now. Like, I want to live my life now. I don't want to wait until I'm 60 years old to live the life that I want to live. I feel like, like now is the time for us to live our lives. And whatever that takes, that's what we should do, right? 